hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel so today i am going to solve an interesting problem so before going to solve i would like to state a very important theorem of real analysis i know it is not uh, a very easy or obvious theorem maybe it is unknown to many students but uh, at least you should know the statement even if you don't know the proof uh, at least you should know the statement of the theorem it's a very important theorem so the theorem is west stress approximation theorem so the theorem says that so the theorem says that let f belongs to c a b that means let f be a continuous function from closed interval a b to r then for any given epsilon greater than 0 there exist a polynomial polynomial px such that mod fx minus px less than epsilon for all x belongs to closed interval a b okay so the statement says that for any continuous function on closed interval a b to r if you have any given epsilon greater than 0 you can always find the polynomial px such that mod fx minus px less than epsilon for all x belongs to a comma b okay so to solve this problem i am going to use this result because this is a very important result okay so here Here we need to find out a limit of a sequence right and the sequence in uh, involves some integral an integral uh, is used here so let i n equals to integral 0 to 1 n x to the n f x dx where f is a continuous function on 0 1 where f belongs to c01 we need to find out limit of this sequence okay okay so before going to solve that let's do a another computation that is integral 0 to 1 n x to the n px dx where p is a polynomial so since p is a polynomial p looks like a0 plus a1x plus dot dot a k x to the k so it is very simple computation a n x to the n a0 plus a1x plus a k x to the k dx which is 0 to 1 plus 0 to 1 1 plus dot 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 0 to 1 n a k x to the n plus k dx dx which is same as a 0 into n n by n plus 1 because we will have x to the n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 and if we put the limit we will have a 0 into n by n plus 1 here a1 into a1 into n divided by n plus 2 plus dot 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 a k equal to n divided by n plus k plus 1 now here k is a fixed because px is a polynomial and k be the degree of uh, the polynomial so k is always a finite value now we have to 
2 by n plus dot 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 a k into 1 by 1 plus k plus 1 by n right now if you take so when n goes to infinity then 1 plus k by n goes to 1 for all k belongs to 0 1 up to it is better to write down i 1 plus i 1 plus i plus 1 by n goes to 1 for all i belongs to 0 1 up to k okay then finally the limit comes so 0 to 1 n x to the n p x d x goes to a0 plus a1 plus a k that is basically sum of coefficients of p sum of coefficients of px that is same as p of 1 right the sum of coefficients of a polynomial is basically uh, the value at point 1 so we have seen that integral 0 to 1 n x to the n p x d x that goes to p of 1 this is the limit now we are going to compute go to the next page now we are going to compute the limit so we are just defining say mod i n minus f of 1 our claim is that f of 1 will be the limit of the actual sequence we are taking okay so f of 1 will be the limit of the actual sequence we have taken uh, integral 0 to 1 n x to the n f x dx okay so to do that it is basically integral 0 to 1 n x to the n f x dx minus f of 1 so 0 to 1 x n x to the n f x dx minus 0 to 1 n x to the n p x dx plus 0 to 1 n x to the n p x dx minus p of 1 plus p of 1 minus f of 1 we can write it okay Now by triangle inequality we can make it 0 to 1 n x to the n f x t x minus 0 to 1 n x to the n p x t x plus 0 to 1 n x to the n p x t x minus p1 plus p1 minus f1. Okay. Now we have already shown that integral 0 to 1 n x to the n p x t x goes to p of 1. So for epsilon greater than 0 choose a natural number m such that 0 to 1 n x to the n p x t x minus p of 1 less than epsilon for all n greater or equal to m we can always choose by definition of sequence convergence of sequence okay here this sequence converges to p of 1 so we can always have this again by west stress approximation theorem we, we know that mod px minus sorry mod fx minus px that is less than epsilon for all x so in particular mod p1 minus f1 that also less than epsilon because it, it less than epsilon for all x inside 0 1 right and the first part we have 0 to 1 n x to the n fx minus px dx which is less than 0 to 1 n x to the n mod fx minus px dx which is less than 0 to 1 n x to the n 
epsilon dx which is same as n epsilon by n plus 1 which is strictly less than epsilon so ultimately what we will have integral i n minus f of 1 is basically less than epsilon plus epsilon plus epsilon which is equal to 3 epsilon so we have i n minus f of 1 is less than 3 epsilon for all n greater or equal to m and that m basically comes from the case we are for epsilon greater than 0 we have a natural number m such that that the integral for the polynomial integral 0 to 1 n x to the n p x dx minus p of 1 that is less than epsilon okay so from that we have, have a natural number m and that gives us this so since epsilon is arbitrary since epsilon greater than 0 is arbitrary hence i n goes to f of 1 as n tends to infinity okay hence integral 0 to 1 n x to the n f x dx goes to f of 1 as n tends to infinity so so i proved it for general general f general continuous function but the same kind of problem usually comes in many years like in jam 2020 sorry 2023 jam 2023 a problem comes that we need to find out the limit 0 to 1 n x to the n divided by 1 plus x dx so here fx is basically here fx equal to 1 by 1 plus x so answer is f of 1 1 by half you can do it in separate way for a particular function f but in general if the function uh, if the function seems to be difficult uh, to to solve this kind of integral or this kind of limit you can if you know the exact result then you can directly solve it similarly another problem comes in gate i think 2021 gate 2021 it asks that integral 0 to 1 2 n x to the n minus 1 divided by 1 plus x dx that is basically same as 0 to 1 2 n x to the n divided by x into 1 plus x so here fx is 2 divided by x into 1 plus x okay so in this way you can do this in, in this way you can do that not a difficult issue okay so it is a very important problem okay hope it is clear if you have any doubt you can ask me in comment thank you